Falcon to so we will know the proper amount of milliliters of each juice and then pour it into its corresponding beaker and then we would put the same amount of deionized water as the, uh, uh, the amount of juice in order to create a one-to-one -one ratio to then test the pH. solution with a known pH of 4. So what you do is you dip the probe in the known pH and the value will come up on this screen and you adjust it accordingly to get it to 4. Okay. So I put the pH meter there. Dip it in the solution that's a known of 4. See? So the lower number is plus or minus point zero one zero zero one so it can be adjusted to the within plus or minus point one. Alright. What does it say on the bottle again? See four and then it gives you a plus or minus of point zero one at twenty five degrees Celsius. So sometime if this is not warm at twenty five degrees Celsius mm -hmm. it might be a little off so it gives you a, a little a little leeway until it gets the right amount. But this one is reading 4.0. Okay, so we take that out. Now we rinse it off and we stick it up. Now this is the, the pH of 7 buffer solution, see? Has a known pH of 7 already. Mm -hmm. We're gonna use this to calibrate the upper the limit. Okay. 
actually. pH meter reads seven. So you know it's calibrated. Test that off. Now this, this buffer solution is for the EC, or electrical conductivity. So that means that it should read, when I stick the probe in here, it should read 1413 micro siemens per centimeter. And that's the measure of the current. It's in the speed of the current. So I switched the knob from P, pH, let me look on the meter. See from pH, push this to get the micro siemens per centimeter. See that? And I push that. So that's going to give you the EC reading. So hold this brother Jamal. Dipping in here. And to adjust it to the right setting, I just turn this knob for EC to get it to 1413. EC is the, electric, the, elect, the electrical conductivity. So the amount of ions in the solution, it uh, determines how fast electricity can flow. So like, if you was taking a bath in this, deionized water, and someone threw a radio in there, you wouldn't get electrocuted because there's no ions for the electricity to travel through to get to your body. So I'm saying there's no salts in there. But so, so the amount of salts in a solution determines how fast the current can move through it. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's why if you give a plant too much fertilizer, it'll be too much current, you know, like too much EC, and, they, and uh, uh, like, uh, there'll be too much current flowing through the water, and instead of the, you know, the nutrients going into the plant, it's actually going to pull the nutrients out of the plant because there's more nutrients in the water. You know what I'm saying? The inside, so okay. it's going to reverse the grading, you know? Wow. Alright, this is the pineapple with no peel now. This is the last test of the experiment. pH is 3.4. Yes. Yeah, okay. So let's look at the results. We noticed that each one, the one with the pill, had a higher pH than with no pill. So that may signify that the pill, ha you know, has an added um, pH value that's higher than just the pulp. And then it looks like all the ones with no pill have a higher electron uh, to a, a higher EC within the lemon and orange but the no peel in the pineapple seems to be less so that suggests that the peel for the pineapple has more ions in it than just the the pulp alone or the fruit alone that concludes the experiment that concludes the experiment. I want to thank my cameraman for covering the footage and my consultant, uh, scientist Steve, Stephen Lewis, for his consultation. And uh, about to wrap it up. Uh, peace. Uh, all right. Alkalinity. 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 Al